Lip buzzing is a poison, so you really have to be careful. This is a lip buzzing tutorial, lip buzzing 101. And um, I'm going to get some close up shots here of my chops while we lip buzz. Lip buzzing can really cause you a lot of consternation. It could set you back, it could destroy your chops, it can make you have the inability to even get a tone out on your brass instrument. This tutorial is for all brass instruments. A lot of people think it's only for trumpet, because that's my main instrument, but it's trumpet, trombone, French horn, baritone, tuba, euphonium. If you buzz a metal mouthpiece into an instrument, this tutorial is for you. First of all, lip buzzing is a poison, and that's why some people have tried it and then issue it, because it really screwed them up. You know, um, some people take nitroglycerin for heart problems. Think about it, folks. Nitroglycerin explodes. That's that little liquid that if you um, have a certain amount of it, you throw it, it will really explode like dynamite. So nitroglycerin is a poison, but yet people take it for their heart problems. Um, Zoloft and Lexipro and a bunch of other drugs are good for people that have depression and bipolar disorders. Uh, you take too much of it, you're really going to be screwed badly. Um, anything you can think of that can help you in small doses could also kill you. Uh, let, me, let me think of one other thing. Um, well, let's just pick um, Vicodin. You know, Vicodin the painkiller. You know, <coughs> you take a little bit of it, it makes you high, it gets rid of the pain. If you take too much of that, man, it will definitely kill you. So, um, poisons can really be beneficial and they can also kill you. And lip buzzing is a poison. It's not like doing lip slurs and it's not like doing other stuff. It's, I mean, you can do lip slurs all day long if you wanted to, it's not going to kill you. If you lip buzzed all day long, um, you won't be playing for the next week or two. I can guarantee that. So, lip buzzing is a poison but it's a necessary um, evil to incorporate because it does focus on one thing here lip strength a lot of people confuse all this as embouchure not true you really needed to um, investigate this for yourself but um, if you happen to see a cadaver and you peel back the skin and I know it's kind of gross the tissue fiber here in your lips is different than the embouchure, the feather-like muscles that surround your lips, the corners that we all work on real hard, right? The corners, all these muscles here that are real tight. Well, the lip, the, the lip flesh and tissue is different. And so you can actually work on strengthening the lips. And the reason that you want to do that is because the lip muscle in the aperture is the final stage of compression. You have your diaphragm, that's number one. You have the tongue arch and the bottleneck that happens with the tongue arch and the squeeze, number two. And then you have the aperture, which is the third and final stage of compression. The aperture is just a fancy word for the little hole. That's the aperture right there. The little area where the air comes out and goes into your mouthpiece that's the aperture <coughs> excuse me those are the three stages of compression and you must work on all of those if you want to get a good tone good power and of course good range and endurance if you fail on one of those you're going to be lacking and a lot of people tend to fail on the aperture part basically what happens is if you don't have a strong lip strength here when you blow enough air through the mouthpiece, your lips will blow apart. What happens when your lips blow apart? When your lips blow apart, you have more air going through the aperture, but at a slower velocity. So think about that. Your lips blow apart slightly, it's not exaggerated, but they blow apart enough to slow the air down. You get more air through the aperture and your range goes down. Okay, what happens? You're cramming the mouthpiece against the horn. I mean, cr sorry, cramming the mouthpiece against your lips, and um, your lips start swelling. 
your endurance goes out the window and you end up having a bad night of playing. So, um, lip buzzing 101. Um, you really need to get involved with lip buzzing. But the thing about it is, it is a poison. So if you lip buzz 30 minutes, 45 minutes, or an hour, like some college professors told me a long time ago when I was in high school, I couldn't play for a couple of weeks. It screwed me up. I lost range, endurance. It's horrible. It took me years and years and years of experimenting with lip buzzing to find the right mix. So um, I would recommend that you um, check out my website because lip buzzing and several techniques related to lip buzzing actually is incorporated into my 16 week brass upper register course. So the bottom line is you have to be able to lip buzz. Um, <laughs> Almost a double C there. I wasn't warmed up. You have to have the strength in your lips to buzz without the horn to really magnify your range and endurance and really increase the compression that happens in your aperture. So this is Lip Buzzing 101 tutorial just basically telling you why in the hows and hopefully that you'll uh, pursue it further. Uh, but last word, and I've said it several times and I know that it's some um, repetitive it is a poison so you go beyond a certain um, time limit with your lip buzzing or buzz too loud and you will make things really really bad for yourself maybe the inability to play for a few days or a couple of weeks so be careful if you want to know about more about lip buzzing and how to incorporate it in your practice in yeah, the different very various techniques that you can employ in your practice to help that last stage of compression then go ahead and click on the link you see below you have to click on the description and open it up and you'll see my link there go there and you can email me or simply email me at kurt at trumpet sizzle.com k-u-r-t at trumpet sizzle.com so I hope this video tutorial made a little sense to you if you don't employ lip buzzing at all I'm convinced you will never gain and master the range on any brass instrument that I can guarantee you must master the lip buzzing I will see you later my friend bye bye